afternoon well yeah it's evening afternoon um anyway little uh i'm gonna do a little site update because i've not done one in a while um it's what day is it it's wednesday it's wednesday afternoon evening six o'clock um so it's the weekend after building careers live um which by the way was a really good event um you know big thanks to tony at a and e who um put all that together for us um, really good and i look forward to it next year anyway here we are um i'll show you this one first the scaffolding went up um they've made an absolute cock of it though uh we've had to put this ladder up they just left it on the floor so they've not even done the access i don't know if it's right i'm a bricky on the scaffold i mean legally i probably shouldn't even be touching it but oh, it is where it is i've probably done a better job than most scaffolders um first problem not where the board is in relation to the height of the brickwork it's the same level if not higher down there it's higher and then look at this bullshit. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I mean that's been a bit dramatic, but I, I kick that tight up. That hangs over 10, 20 mil onto our block work. He's obviously set the scaffold out wrong. I just don't know why or how they uh, they manage this. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just ridiculous. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to notch, and they they're going to hate me for this, but it's because I hate them for doing what they've done. I'm gonna have to notch here and slide this back and they'll probably kick off about it but the scaffolding shit so that's what they get. I don't know. It phoned me, I was I was at Building Careers Live. Middle of the event, he phoned me the scaffold, he went, um We're here. Do you want do you want it leaving a block down? I went, yeah. Alright, sound. Comes in today, and this is what I get. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's that. I'll show you over there in a minute. Um, but basically, we've now been told we're going to put the floor on. Um, the joiner can't get soon, and we we need to get it on. So we're going to put it on. That, that, that's it. It's not. It's not hard. Um, it's just cutting it to size. A lot of brickies, especially builders, they can do basic joinery like that, and that's what it is. I mean, we're literally we're cutting the joists to length, spacing them out, pinning them, pin, pinning them in place, and then we brick in between, which will hold them until it comes to put the flooring on. Um, so yeah, that's probably the next two days, Thursday, Friday, doing that. Uh, I might get a video it, just probably put it on time lapse, and you can see us do that. Should be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'll go show you over here now. And what we uh, what we've done today. Oh. didn't work Monday, Tuesday, it was just too hot it's, we've had that heat wave and I'm not sure when this video is going to go out but... right, here we are this has been Wednesday's job get this side up and the 
we've not even finished the scaffolding. And uh, again, I'll show you this shit. So we've got that side up. Um, look at this. This, by the way, this this pole, this one, I've had to put this in. Again, they just left that. I mean, what's that? That's big enough to get my foot down. In fact, I fell down the other week on that scaffolding over there um, because the board had slipped. I mean, I can't can't do it with this one because I've, uh, I've put blocks on it. But like, see how look, I've clipped it. I asked. <laughs> this is another thing. I asked him to clip it I on the phone. I said, "Can you clip?" clip all the inside boards and he was like why I says well I fell down you know um, and I hurt my leg I could have broke my leg oh, and I'd have been off work for god knows how long and he went yeah 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 we'll sort it out he ain't so it's just it's another job for me um, but I'd rather be safe and I'd rather lads be safe because at the end of the day if, if we're off work through injury can't make money. So, uh, yeah, it's the uh, show you again. A little site update. I'll uh, get a time lapse of putting those joists on. And then hopefully he finishes this scaffolding and then I can get this done, lintels on. And then we'll get this one up to the same height as that and maybe put the joist on this, I don't know. I don't know if the, uh, the joiner's actually gonna come and do it himself. But, uh, we'll see anyway. So, yeah, enjoy watching us put joists on. Ricky's been joining us.
used to stop this world from spinning Like Superman, you were the only one to find The strength in all that I was dealing with This life like kryptonite done but joists are on and that's as uh, that's as much as we're doing um, the owner doesn't want us to put the actual deck down because he says it'll get ruined I've tried explaining that it won't but you know it's his decision he's, he's paying for the job so we uh, we we'll just do like what we did downstairs with uh, just sacrificial OSB but we're just going to get a bit more for the middle so nobody obviously falls down um, so yeah, not done bad to say where brick is. Um, it's not, I'm gonna be honest, it's not hard. Um, if your block works level, and you might have noticed there were little bits where I was just packing up, just a couple of blocks dipping, um, they know about it, so it's uh, it will not happen again. Um, you might be thinking, stairs, where's the stairs, where's the hole for the stairs? Um, the stairs are going like here, against, well I'm stood at the back, so if you're looking at it from the back, it's the right hand side, um, but from the front door. Um, basically, what they'll do, what the joiner will do, is he'll actually cut the hole out for the stairs after. Now it might seem a bit unconventional and whatever but it actually benefits us because we've got something solid to work off of if there's a giant hole in the floor for stairs we're going to then somehow find a way to bridge over that so we can build um, to be honest jobs I've done in the past that's how we've done it we just put the joists through we brick them in and then the joiner will come and cut them out after and put trimmers in and 
and, and whatever they have to do. Um, I actually think where I haven't got the plan on me, but I think what what he's doing there's a, a stud wall directly next to the staircase, so that'll actually carry the um, the joist. So let's say I don't know from like here to I don't know here is what gets cut out. There'll be a wall below, and that. You get what I mean, um, but yeah, that's that's how we've done it. So, and we've done it like that before, and it and it works, and it just it, it just gives us something, you know, sturdy to work off of. I mean, on on site they put they put what is it trad decor, even scaffold the inside out, but we don't have that luxury. Um, <laughs> You've seen the state of the scaffolding. It's uh, it's quite an old school style job. I mean, look at the loading there. So yeah, and obviously these timbers here are just to hold it in place. And then once we've um, we've bricked in between, that'll hold the spacings, and we can take those timbers off. And then put the uh, the OSB down to work off of. So that's us done for the week. Um, next week we're finishing that front plot. Scaffolders are in over the weekend just to finish the front. Um, and then we'll be back over here and we'll get this straight up to pan. I think, unless there's any other hold ups. But I'm hoping now we're uh, we're sailing. We're just waiting on this forklift. It's just a problem trying to get a forklift. Because I've put my foot down. I'm not carrying blocks up a ladder. It's not safe. It's not cost effective. Um, so, but I think I think I've been saying this for the past three four weeks. I think it's coming next week. So we'll see. But. Hope you've enjoyed us watching us put Joyce on. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.